Hey YouTube, <laughs> Silver Hair Stacker here. Sorry I haven't made a video in a long time. Well, it seems like if I'm not getting anything new, I don't particularly feel like I've got a whole lot to talk about because yeah, if I pull out old coins like I'm doing today, at some point in the past, uh, all these coins have been featured in one of my past videos, but hey, <laughs> I am, I have a confession to make, however, because I am <laughs> probably the worst at keeping track of what all I have. I've been stacking silver and gold for about 11 years now, and when you get my age, <laughs> You can't remember what all you have. And I know I should have all this time down through the years kept a spreadsheet of all the coins of silver and gold that I have, but I didn't do it. I'm lazy. I may be the laziest stacker in the world, but anyway, stacker, you know, the definition of stacker is somebody who, uh, buys silver and gold to, for whatever reason, lots of reasons. Won't go into that today. But anyway, today's topic, silver dollars. I don't know, I don't even know how many I have. Morgan and Peace silver dollars. I have some. Let's take a look at them. I do have a fascination with the American silver piece and Morgan dollars. Uh, and it started when I was about eight years old, <laughs> which will date me, but I don't care what you think. Uh, this uh, computer screen here shows the one million silver dollars exhibit at the Seattle World's Fair in 1962. In 1962, <laughs> my dad bought a, a brand new blue pickup and he put an aluminum camper shell over it. And from Texas, we got on the road, unair conditioned, <laughs> and started north to go to the Seattle World's Fair for a vacation. It was, it was quite the trip. Uh, back in those days, you just kind of packed up and left. I think that pickup probably cost my dad $2,500. Um, the average wage of the American family in 1962 was probably about $5,000 a year total. <laughs> That's if both parents worked. Uh, and both my parents worked. Anyway, in 1962, we headed off to the north. We visited lots of great attractions. We went to uh, Yellowstone National Park. And uh, we went to Crater Lake. Um, we visited lots of great places. I didn't realize how great they were until um, much later in life. Anyway, we visited Mount Rushmore, and we finally got to the Seattle World's Fair, and we stayed in, like, uh, really cheap roadside motels on the way there, or camped in the back of that old pickup. But anyway, uh, yeah, on the way there, we stopped in Las Vegas, Nevada, and got gasoline, and believe it or not, as a promotion at the time in Las Vegas, um, if you bought a tank full of gas and you used a $5 bill to pay for it, you would receive in change silver dollars. So if the tank full of gas, yeah, a full tank of gas in a pickup in 1962 only cost like three bucks because gasoline was like 20 cents a gallon. Anyway, so dad received two silver dollars in Las Vegas <laughs> in change 
on our way to uh to the Seattle World's Fair. So yeah. Those those kind of things would never happen again. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we got to the Seattle World's Fair, and this exhibit showed, and we went to the exhibit while we visited the Seattle World's Fair. There was a cage with one million silver dollars. They were probably mostly peace dollars, but, um, yeah, and silver dollars weren't that expensive then. They were probably worth maybe a dollar and a half. But it was fascinating to see a million dollars in silver dollars. And there's the picture of it. I remember going into, it wasn't that large of an exhibit, but we filed past along with the other patrons at the World's Fair and we saw, we saw that. So that's one of my recollections of, got me fascinated with, the, with uh, silver dollars. And then... About three years later, my grandfather passed away at the ripe old age of 91. You know, there's, he was born in 1876. <laughs> Again, showing my age. Anyway, in a, uh, in a jar where he kept cigars that people gave him for at the birth of a child or whatever. Back in the day, if you had a baby, uh, you were given a cigar by the the proud papa of the new child. And uh, my grandpa would just keep, keep them, stick them in that old uh, ceramic jar. But in that jar also were maybe 12 silver dollars. And I remember looking at them and think, those are cool. <laughs> so I got to get me some. And I finally got me some. So anyway, on with the rest of the video. About eight years ago, I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool to do the complete Morgan Dollar date set? So I got a, I got a collector book. I started off on my journey, <laughs> and I did not complete it. I did get some. The Morgan Silver Dollar date set. And when I started picking up Silver Dollars... Um, I only had two caveats to the deal. I was not going to get silver dollars that were graded. That's a whole different animal. Um, can run you into the hundreds of thousands of dollars to do collections of graded uh, silver dollars. So I don't do that, but I did attempt to seek out good specimens of coins. Like, if I'm going to fill up a date book, I don't want to put slicks in there. A slick is a coin that is, uh, like, completely rubbed out. Has had so much use that most of the, uh, most of the stuff is gone from it. This, um... And I've got some pretty good examples of coins that would maybe should be graded and put into slabs. But I never did it. So these are all very good condition, I would say. I don't know. I'm not a coin grader. So there are a few dates missing. And I've acquired some Morgan Silver Dollars since then. I kind of lost interest in getting the full set because there's no way to get... A couple of the key dates are so expensive, almost no one will ever get all of them. But anyway, this was a date... This is a date set. It's possible to fill this book because... Uh, and I don't remember all the key dates for Morgans. The key dates uh, don't always, aren't always like, you could maybe have an 1894 
but it's also the date plus the mint that would make a coin rare. This is a simple date set book. So this would not be the entire set. If you filled this book completely, you would not get like all the Carson cities, all the New Orleans, all the San Francisco, or all the Denver Mint set. So anyway, um, so here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So there's twenty Morgans in here in what I would call better than good condition. And some of them would be even in almost uncirculated condition. So there that book is. So I also, down through the last 11 years, at one point, I decided, hey, I will get the full date and mint set of peace silver dollars. And these are the ones in capsules. I'm trying to get good examples of all those as well. And... The 1921 High Relief is the key date. Uh, for a good example, it can run you three, four hundred dollars, and if it's graded, can run like five or six hundred dollars. And so, I have a full date and mint run of the. Peace dollars. If you look back way back at my past videos, you could probably find the video where I put out um, the video where I completed the date set. If I can remember to, I'll try to put a link to that video in this video. So, and then some of the coins I try to Keep in good shape, so I'll slap them in a coin protectors. Some I just put into tubes. They're just basic, basic, basic. Yeah. I don't even know how many's in a tube. Let's see. Five. 10, 15, yeah, 20 in a tube, except some of the tubes aren't full. So there's a tube of peace dollars. Uh, here's another tube of peace dollars. I wonder if that's the date set. That might be the date set. <laughs> I have to go back and look. Uh, in this capsule, I got five, ten, just thirteen in here. They're just uh, stacking. And I got so, some individual ones here. I don't even have these in a cover or a protection. It's a pretty nice 1885P. And that one's, you can see the difference. These coins were used in daily life. So this one has quite a lot of wear to it. And 1885 doesn't have much at all. I don't know why this one's in a flip, but there it is. Uh, Morgan dollars. These are all 1921s. 1921 Morgans is the, are the most common date. So they're they're the least expensive uh, silver dollars you can you can get of the Morgan Morgan dollar design. Yeah. 
So I've got five, 10, 11 of those. If you're gonna get Morgan dollars, try to get anything besides 1921 because they'll be worth more. These are all 1896 to 1903. So none of these would be 1921s. So the ones in this tube are worth more than the ones in the 1921 tube. And they're just randomly in here. I got some in here. That one's obviously been cleaned at some point. 1879. P. 1879, Philadelphia. So there's nine, nine more Morgans. Um, anyway. Do, do, do. And one last tube here. I don't even know if these are all the silver dollars I have. I have several different locations. I keep my stack of silver and gold, and I'm not sure that, <laughs> that these are all the silver dollars I have. Uh, I keep such bad track of stuff. Five, 10, 15, 16. There's 16 Morgans in here from 1879 to 1890. So anyway, I don't know. I took you on a little trip down memory lane. Uh, these are probably... The, lar the largest portions of silver Morgans and peace dollars that I have in my stack. Truth be told, if you're just stacking silver for silver value, don't buy these. Um, just go out and buy a generic silver like uh, Buffaloes or 10 ounce bars or whatever. But if you have kind of a, a a little bit of collector in you and I've always had a like I say I've always had a fascination with uh, with the American silver dollars um, these are a, a fairly inexpensive way compared to slabbed coins which are the graded coins none of these are graded so some of them could be graded probably anyway i'm rambling <laughs> but that's okay uh this is turning into kind of a long video but the last 11 years i've thoroughly enjoyed picking up and uh grabbing up silver dollars and putting into my stack and i hope that when I die, which may not be all that long from now, <laughs> I pretty much admitted my age in this video, that uh, the ones who come after me will appreciate these because the closer I get to death, probably the more I'm going to have to sell off of my uh, stack of silver and gold and uh, and the silver dollars will probably be some of the last to go. If I have anything to say about it, if I don't, <laughs> if I'm in, in if I'm in uh, Alzheimer's and can't remember my butt from a hole in the ground, um, yeah, the family will probably just come in and and uh, sell it all off at whatever. Anyway. That's up to them. Whatever they want to do with it after I'm gone, I don't care. I'm gone. I'm in a better place. This is your silver hair stacker saying good luck. God bless. Sorry it was such a long video, but hey, silver dollars are just fascinating to me. Fascinating. Look at that. What's not to love about these beautiful coins? Just incredible design work. And they've stood the test of time for 
since 1885 anyway. Look at that eagle. It's crazy cool. Yeah, if you appreciate art, you got to appreciate coins. Anyway, Silver Hair Stacker saying good luck, God bless. Get out there and get you some silver dollars. If you don't, you're missing out on a very interesting part of history and our lives as being Americans. <laughs> if you're not American, I hope you can appreciate American silver dollars too. Bye. So I also, down through the last 11 years, at one point, I decided, hey, I will get the full date and mint set of peace silver dollars. And these are the ones in capsules. I'm trying to get good examples of all those as well. And the 1921 high relief is the key date. Uh, for a good example, it can run you three, four hundred dollars. And if it's graded, it can run like five or six hundred dollars. And so I have a full date and mint run of the peace dollars. If you look back way back at my past videos, you could probably find the video where I put out um the video where I completed the date set. If I can remember to, I'll try to put a link to that video in this video. So, and then some of the coins I try to keep in good shape, so I'll slap them in a coin protectors. Some I just put into tubes. And just basic, basic, basic. Yeah. I don't even know how many's in a tube. Let's see. Five, 10, 15, yeah. 20 in a tube. Except some of the tubes aren't full. So, there's a tube of peace dollars. Uh, here's another tube of peace dollars. I wonder if that's the date set. That might be the date set. <laughs> I have to go back and look. Uh, and this capsule, I got five, ten. Just 13 in here. They're just uh, stacking. And I got so, some individual ones here. I don't even have these in a cover or a protection. It's a pretty nice 1885P. And that one's, you can see the difference. These coins were used in daily life, so this one has quite a lot of wear to it. And 1885 doesn't have much at all. I don't know why this one's in a flip, but there it is. Uh, Morgan dollars. These are all 1921s. 1921 Morgans is the, are the most common date. So they're... They're the least expensive uh, silver dollars you can you can get of the Morgan Morgan dollar design. Yeah, so I've got five, ten, eleven of those. If you're gonna get Morgan dollars, try to get anything besides 1921 because they'll be worth more. These are all 1896 to 1903. So none of these would be 1921s. So the ones in this tube are worth more than the ones in the 1921 tube. And they're just randomly in here. 
We got some in here. That one's obviously been cleaned at some point. 1879. P. 1879 Philadelphia. So there's nine nine more Morgans. Um anyway. Do, do, do. And one last tube here. I don't even know if these are all the silver dollars I have. I have several different locations. I keep my stack of silver and gold, and I'm not sure that <laughs> that these are all the silver dollars I have. Uh, I keep such bad track of stuff. Five, ten, fifteen. Sixteen. There's sixteen Morgans in here, from 1879 to 1890. So anyway, I don't know. I took you on a little trip down memory lane. Uh, these are probably the lar the largest portions of silver Morgans and peace dollars that I have in my stack. Truth be told, if you're just stacking silver for silver value, don't buy these. Um, just go out and buy uh, generic silver like uh, Buffaloes or 10 ounce bars or whatever. But if you have kind of a, a, a little bit of collector in you, and I've always had a... Like I say, I've always had a fascination with uh, with the American silver dollars. Um, these are a, a fairly inexpensive way compared to slabbed coins, which are the graded coins. None of these are graded, so some of them could be graded probably. Anyway, I'm rambling. <laughs> But that's okay. Uh, this is turning into kind of a long video, but the last 11 years I've thoroughly enjoyed picking up and uh, grabbing up silver dollars and putting into my stack. And I hope that <laughs> when I die, which may not be all that long from now, <laughs> I pretty much admitted my age in this video that uh, the ones who come after me will appreciate these because the closer I get to death, probably the more I'm going to have to sell off of my uh, stack of silver and gold and, uh, and the silver dollars will probably be some of the last to go. If I have anything to say about it, if I don't, <laughs> if I'm in, in if I'm in uh, Alzheimer's and can't remember my butt from a hole in the ground, um, yeah, the family will probably just come in and and uh, sell it all off at whatever. Anyway, that's up to them. Whatever they want to do with it after I'm gone, I don't care. I'm gone. I'm in a better place. This is your silver hair stacker saying good luck. God bless. Sorry it was such a long video, but hey, silver dollars are just fascinating to me. Fascinating. Look at that. What's not to love about these beautiful coins? Just incredible design work. And they've stood the test of time for since 1885, anyway. Look at that eagle. It's crazy cool. Yeah, if you appreciate art, you got to appreciate coins. Anyway, Silver Hair Stacker saying good luck, God bless. Get out there and get you some silver dollars. If you don't, you're missing out on. A very interesting part of history and our lives as being Americans. <laughs>
If you're not American, I hope you can appreciate American silver dollars too. Bye.